Hello there. Uh, it's me, your everyday LEGO Star Wars enthusiast, Eggnog, and I hope you've all been having a good day. I think one of the biggest things the fans were excited for when the Kenobi show got announced was going to be another epic battle between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, like uh, something more exciting than Episode Four gave us, because let's be honest, that lightsaber duel was a little dull. And I think the Kenobi show uh, very much delivered. It gave us quite a few, it gave, I believe it gave us two really good fight scenes between uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. And Lego uh, made a set to celebrate one of those scenes. The set is number 75334, Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. It's got 408 pieces, comes with four minifigures, and will run you $50, which is... A bit of an expensive price tag, I think is what a lot of people have agreed on. And there's the set. So let's hop into this right now and get to the figures. So the first figure we have here is Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. He's got a different print from the Inquisitor's Scythe set. This is in his disguised robes that just end up looking like Jedi robes, you know. But uh, a pretty solid figure. As you can see here, we got that really nice Printing kind of mixes in with the waist. It's all very seamless. He's still got that big coat on. Some waist printing, which is nice. Nothing on the toes. Some, uh, oh, you can hardly see it, but there's some very slight back printing. He's got a hood. Nothing on the arms. Uh, got a great headpiece, great hair piece. If you'll, uh, the back of the head is just, uh, we got a calm face here. You know, he's going to give you some wise, sage advice. And on the other side over here, we got a much more angry, battle-ready face when he's dueling Darth Vader. My uh, only slight problem with this minifigure, I'll show you right here. Whoops! I didn't drop him, I just killed Obi-Wan. As you can see there, it's better than like some figures we've seen before, but that flesh printing on the torso doesn't quite match up with the flesh, with the, uh, the color of the plastic of the head or the hands. So it just looks a little weird, but at the end of the day, Pretty good figure, just comes with a blue lightsaber. Another good Obi-Wan. I know there's a billion Obi-Wan Kenobis. There's... We've got this one also from the Kenobi show. Just thought I'd show that real quick, but uh, it's a good figure to be getting. I mean, it's very important to the scene, so obviously we were gonna get him, I guess. The next figure included in the set is Darth Vader. And this is... Uh, it's a good old Darth Vader. It's using that same helmet they've been using for a while now. I think the torso printing, waist printing, and leg printing are the same as we've had for quite some time, a couple years now. But, now this has happened before, but it hasn't been in a lot of sets recently. This Darth Vader does have arm printing, which is very nice. In my opinion, this is the definitive... Darth Vader with that arm printing looks great, that waist printing. Nothing on the toe printing, though, which is too bad. You flip the cape back. Uh, just some very... Ah! Some very simple back printing. Nothing too crazy. Again, he's got a cape, which is always a nice piece to get. I wish I would stop dropping this. It's that harder plastic cape, which I don't have too big of a deal with. I actually prefer this one. It's not the best for play, but in a display, it holds its shape better. But yeah, just a great, great Darth Vader. Uh, very important to have with the set, too, and I think that arm printing really elevates him. The next figure included in this set is everybody's favorite mute droid, Ned B. And I have to say, this is an absolutely standout figure. First off, printing on the toes, the legs, and the waist are just lovely. And this mold they use to get the look. I mean, this is... Got to be one of the most accurately looking minifigures. He's got these two pieces here that kind of make a backpack. He's got some printing there, some Orabesh. I don't know what that says, and I'm not going to bother translating it. I'm sure you can if you want to. Uh, that blue arm on the left, yellow on the right looks real good. As you can see here, the torso is just a black torso, nothing in the front of the back. And the head and the backpack and the torso are all just this individual mold. Just great printing, all-around standout figure. I think this is probably the best, in my opinion, the best figure of the current wave of LEGO sets, and I just have to say, this is a great addition to anybody's collection. 
And I think this is going to be one of those figures that just keeps on going up in price. Especially because not many people are buying this Lego set considering it's, uh, it's kind of crazy price. And finally, the last character included is Tala Durith from The Kenobi Show. Really great character, but I have to say, very underwhelmed with this figure. One, she's in her uh, Imperial disguise, which is good. I don't think it's accurate to the scene being represented. I could be wrong there. But at the end of the day, she is just wearing an Imperial Guards uniform. And that's pretty boring. It's a boring print. A little bit on the back. Nothing on the waist. Just a gray leg piece. Little blaster pistol. The only real unique thing about this character is that head. And I just have to say, I wish there was a little bit more unique of a figure. But considering she is a big uh, part of the show, I figured, I mean, it's good that we are getting her, but I just wish they did a little bit, it was a little bit better. So, hopping into the actual set here, I'll move the box. First off, before we put the figures on or anything, this is barren. For $50, I think it is fair to ask, like, what on earth is this? I mean, it just, it just doesn't look like anything. It is just this gray boring lump of nothingness. I, I'm just not too fond of it. Obviously, of course, this is meant to be displayed with the figures, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but at first, it, it just doesn't look good. But I'll show you some of the play features real quick. So, over here, you got this little catapult thing. You can press this button. And it just kind of launches and spills uh, some fire all over the ground, just like in the scene when Darth Vader throws Obi-Wan into the fire, so you can knock all the fire there. It's pretty, it comes completely off. Has little, two little buckets that kind of click on there. It's, it's an alright play feature. It's kind of what I expected. We'd be getting in this set, but I mean, I like it. And the extra lava pieces are nice. I think the biggest play feature in this set is, so on the back here, you got this little mechanism that uses a rubber band, which I'm not too fond of because those rubber bands can wear down, but I guess you can always just replace them. But just pull this back. Boom. And you kind of missed it there because my hand was in the way. But we got this lovely, like, this lovely uh, line of fire that can shoot out from under the ground. And that's pretty easy. You just pull this back, push it in. I know you can't see because my hand is in the way. I couldn't find my tripod, so that's why this video, like, is probably way worse than all of my other ones. I'm still going to upload it, though, because, uh, I don't... Because I'm very... It's very amateur channel. I'm not... This is amateur hour. But it's good. You got these that spin around. You can put your figures on there, as, like, I'll show you in a little bit, and you can make them duel a little bit better. Then I guess if you want to count this as a play feature, this can fold up and reveal some lava, and this spins. But that that's nothing for me. But, I mean, it's got some play features, but, I mean, come on. If this set didn't have any figures, <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine what the fan, how the fans would react. So, here we have the set with some of the characters added, and I will say, it starts to look a bit more displayable when you add the characters. And you can see here, as that, like, that play feature is you can spin these, make their lightsabers clash together. <laughs> looks real good the the figures added add some color to it i think that yellow ned b adds a lot and they all kind of have their spots on the display and it does look a lot better i think also pull this back bring out the fire helps the display a little bit maybe sprinkle some of the uh, loose fire pieces they've had around here onto the ground it just looks a little better also the set Comes with these two little clear pieces, so you can take off Obi-Wan and like Ned B too. Also, that's not accurate to what happens. You can place those down right here. Stick your Obi-Wan onto it. And now it looks like Darth Vader's like lifting him up and he's gonna throw him into the fire. We got uh Tala here is taking some pot shots at Vader from a little vantage point, and here comes Ned B to save the day. So with the figures added, I mean, it definitely adds a bit more personality to this set, but at the end of the day, it's still a bit of an eyesore. I'm displaying it right now. I'm displaying it right over there with the other Kenobi set. But I have to say, I mean, 
for fifty dollars, I think you can do. Lego at least could have done a little bit better. I think this set obviously should have been the uh, final duel in the Kenobi show because it had a little bit more of a unique uh, terrain where that fight happened. But makes sense. Uh, Star the like, Disney wants to avoid spoilers for their show, so Lego had to go with this. But I mean, oh, I forgot the moisture thing right there. I don't know what that is. Adds a little bit of depth to it. But if you are a huge fan of the Kenobi show and you want all the characters, for $100 you can get the Inquisitor shuttle, and for $50 you can get this. $150, you're getting about all the main characters in Kenobi. The only person I think you're missing is like a little Leia, but she obviously hasn't been in a Lego set yet. I'd like for her to be in one, but we'll see what happens with that. But uh, for $150, getting both of these sets, I will say, is kind of nice to have everything you'd want. So, final verdict for this set, pretty alright figures, Ned B is a great figure, the rest are pretty ho-hum, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's decent. I mean, it's not as terrible as I initially thought when I first saw the leaks and stuff, but you're obviously, it's not quite what you would want, especially for the $50 price point. Uh, not, in my opinion... This is one you might want to wait to go on clearance, unless, again, you're dying for it. You can always buy. Don't let me ever influence if you want a Lego set or not. Don't let, you know, just let let your heart decide, you know? like It's like Disney. But, uh, I mean, again, 408 pieces, 50 bucks, just... If this was a $30 set, I think it would have been received a lot better. I think it is a good set, to be honest, or at least a decent set. But for the price, not worth it. I'm going to give this one... I'll give this like a 6 out of 10 for the current price. I'd give it a 7 or 8 if it was a $30 set. Alright, Lego folks. I, uh, I really hoped you enjoyed the video. It means a lot that you watched it. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next review.